Hi everyone, in today's video, we're going to create a script that allows you to use the arrow keys on your keyboard in order to move your active window bit by bit to the right, left, up and down. So if you're interested in learning how to create a script like this, please continue watching. All right, welcome back. Let's get started. So on Windows by default, you can use the win key or the start key and the arrow keys in order to snap the act window to the left or right or maximize it or restore it from the maximize state. You can combine it with the shift key in order to move the active window to the monitor on the left or screen on the left or screen on the right in this manner. However, you're unable to move this window bit by bit without the use of the mouse cursor. And so I created an AutoArchy script in order to be able to move the window bit by bit in case I wanted to. So the way you would go about creating this is you have to first design your hotkey by using some modifier keys as well as the arrow keys. And in today's video, I'm going to be using the up key, down key, left key, right key, combined with the start key or the windows key together with the alt key. So I'm going to first start off with the tilde sign tilde sign because the on-screen display of my keyboard stroke uses hotkeys therefore without the tilde sign it's not going to show that i have run the hotkey on the on-screen display of the keys so this is not necessary for you but i'm just going to use that in order for my keys to be successfully displayed on my on-screen display of the keyboard script so so i've got the win key alt key and up key to create the hotkey that shifts my window upwards by a bit and I'm going to do the same for the down key and left and right and now first thing we have to do is to get the position of the active window in order to do that we're going to use the win get pause command and then fill out the parameters so I'm just going to call the x coordinate y coordinate y width w height is h and the wind title is going to be the active window and i don't need any of the rest and the only thing we have to do now is to do a wind move command and for the wind title it's again going to be the active window don't need the wind text and because we are moving up we don't need to specify anything in the x coordinate however on the y coordinate we are going to use the y variable that we have created here and then do a minus of 150 pixels in this manner it's going to shift this window when i launch the hotkey upwards by 150 pixels and that's good enough so if i go ahead and run this script and then press the win key alt key and up key it's going to do exactly what i said it to do which is going to be moving the active window upwards by a 150 pixels like that so the rest of it is going to be exactly the same except that i've just got to edit the adjustment for the y for the down arrow key and for the left and right we're going to have to shift our focus from the y to x and in case of the left we're going to take away 300 pixels and 300 pixels as opposed to 150 pixels because usually horizontally the screens are longer and therefore you need to shift it further than 150 pixels as opposed to shifting it from top to bottom All right left is going to be there right is going to be an addition of 300 pixels and that's it that's all you need to do in order to create the script that you have seen so i have just rerun the script and right now, if I do a win, alt, and right, then it's going to shift the window 300 pixels to the right. Left will do 300 pixels to the left, up and down by 150 pixels. That's it. That's how simple it is to create a script that shifts your active window bit by bit. Now, if you have a window that is maximized, you might not want to have these hotkeys shifting your window. For some windows, this is disabled by default. So right now I have the Visual Studio Code maximized. And if I try to run the hotkey to shift it to the left or shift it to the right or up and down, it doesn't move. However, for certain windows like this folder, if I maximize it and run the hotkey to move the window up, down, right and left, 
it still moves the window around. If you don't want this happening when your active window is in the maximized state, what you can do is you can add the winget command, window state as a variable, and run the min max sub command on the active window, and go if window state equals one, you just do a return to pause the script there and then, and wait for the next hotkey. And all you've got to do is copy this down to the other hotkeys and rerun the script. And now if I have this folder maximized, running the hotkey won't, as you can see, won't move the window up, down and left and right. So this is how you can create hotkeys in order to move the window bit by bit to the left, right and top and bottom instead of using the mouse cursor. This is it for today's video. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.